My name is Anders Jensen. Let's learn some UI path. Today we will see how we can log exceptions to Excel with UI path. It was a great question I got from the viewer, Amy Lucero. Thank you, Amy, for your great question. Amy wants to know how she can log or document exceptions from a TriCast to an Excel file. And then she asked me if I could create a tutorial about it. And yes, I can indeed. It's a quite a common task, so let's look at that. First, we'll need a case in which we can create some exceptions. So I prepared an Excel sheet here. We have four columns, number one, number two, sum and lock. We have uh, the sum. We want to print out the sum. That is the sum of the column one and column two, number one and column two. So this one will be eight. However, here we cannot make a sum because I built in a trap. Instead of a number, I put in a letter. So a plus nine, that will get, throw an exception in UI path and the workflow will stop. Here we will have a two, here we will have an 11, and here there will be a trap as well. We want to uh, have a lock, so this one, if it goes right, then we want to have a success here. However, we want an exception message here and here, and we will use our try catch. So let's create our workflow and let's uh, afterwards add our try catch. I'll close down this Excel sheet, then I'll go to UI path. First, we'll need to read the data from the Excel sheet, so find an Excel application scope. Drag it in. By the way, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get all the new videos about UiPath and RPA. Now we go to our uh, Excel sheet that's here. Shift right click, we'll find the location. Copy as path. We'll put it in here. And by the way, this video will be about try catch. However, I touch uh, the try catch subject very um, roughly in my re-framework guide. I'll link to that in the description. So if you want more, you can uh, go ahead and watch that video. But now we will solve this case. So we have an Excel application scope. Then we'll find the read range still from the Excel activities. Drag this guy in. This one will read our Excel sheet into a data table. So what we'll do is that we'll go over to the output, control K, DT data. Now we created a data table. We'll go back to the Excel application scope and tick visible off. So we won't have visible calculations in Excel. We don't need to open it. Now we have an into a data table. We can start to iterate through each one of the rows. Let me open the Excel sheet again. We can start to iterate through each one of the rows and try to make a sum summation. So we'll try to make it. So we'll take it for each row and then we'll try to make a summation, right? Um, that will be a for each row still in our UI path, so for each row. Drag this guy in. We are still in the Excel application scope. Let me delete this body. And we want to iterate through our data table, so that'll be the DT data here. And then what we want to do is that we'll just assign a value to the sum column for each of the rows. So whenever we're here, we will uh, assign a value to this column here, for this column, this, this, this. So for each one of the rows. So we'll drag it in the sign. By the way, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. That will really help me a lot. But um, now we will have it the assign. And we, we want to log to the uh, column sum. So for each of the rows, we'll say row item. That'll be the current row. And then we'll be into the sum. What do we want to log? We want to log the sum of the two numbers from the first two columns. And you could believe that um, those two, when we read them into our data table, that will be numbers. However, they are objects, so we need to convert them to numbers. Yeah, that sounds a little bit counterintuitive, but that's just how it is. So we will go over here to our value so we can edit our expression. This is basically just the same as this field. This is just give us a little bit more space. So we want to first, we want to um, summarize the two numbers and we want to convert them to integers because they are not decimals then we want to convert, convert them to doubles but now we will just say cn convert to integer what do we want to convert we want to convert the q and row and then the column number one so that will be row dot item parentheses quotation marks number one like this that is our first number then we want to summarize it with the our second number that will just be sorry row item number two like this so now we have a summarization but we want to print it back and then we need to print and uh, we need to um, 
convert it to a string yeah a lot of conversion so parentheses outside of everything and then we'll say dot to string this one will print it to a string then we can because this can either go uh, right or wrong if this go wrong it will stop the entire workflow as it is now however if it goes right then we will move ahead then we can print to our um, log uh, column and that will still just be the same syntax row item now it's just a log column like this and we will say success because if we know that we are here then we know it's a success success however there will be a problem because right now when we run this flow we will run it and then it will throw an exception and we cannot finalize our workflow so this is not the solution. You can even see here that it says that A, that was our trap, is not an integer. So uh, we'll need to find a solution for that. And that is, as Amy mentioned, uh, a try catch. So uh, let's find a try catch. And again, I covered this in depth in my reframework video, which you can find in the description. But now we will have the try catch. Dragon uh, still in this for each row. What this does is, let me tell you, we will try something that could be an activity that could be uh, actually it is this activity and we'll just drag in this as well we will try this if this goes wrong then we will have a catch that's down here we will have a new catch in the exception that will be an exception here and what, what this does it try this and if it fails then it will go down to the catches if it's success then it will ignore the catch and then just continue and after, so if we have an exception up here and we are down here, then it will perform this activity and it will just move on. It won't stop our workflow. So that's quite convenient, but we want to update our log down here. So what we'll do here is that we will, we, we will just, if this goes wrong, this sum up here, then we know that there's a letter in our um, data. Then we will go down to the exception and we will have an assign to our log. So uh, let's find an assign here by the way if you guys have any questions or comments even the joe is if it just uh, i think it's a bad video i think it's a good video please uh, comment in the section below so now we want to just print to the row item that will be our lock again so row item parentheses quotation mark lock quotation mark what do we want to print well we can print something like error in summation probably uh, not two integers or whatever ex exception message we want integers we want like this so now we have uh, now our workflow could run without stopping however we need to print out everything from the data table because this one will just print to the data table this will not print to excel so um we'll need to after we ran this for each row uh, remember after then we will uh, write to the excel again so uh, let's find a write range Choose the one under Excel and be sure to go outside the for each row. So make sure that you're outside this. Then we want to write our range. So let us delete this range. We will add the headers over here in the properties and then we will just say DT data. Let's try to run it and see that it actually works, that we created a working workflow. We run, it will perform all the all our data work so uh, now we're done we can open up the excel sheet and we can inspect our data we can see that we have updated our sum column sum 8 here 2 and 11 that's the sum we're not updated in the trap and we can see that we have a success here 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 and we have uh, the exception message here so that's how you uh, will use a try catch and lock the exceptions to excel have a good day Bye.